supplies enough for a while. I must go in and see Toby. Why don't call this? Why, hello there, Toby. How's everything been while I've been away? I'm glad to see you back, Mr. Smith. Easy a black scum ain't been up to nothing. Now, just put it back there now. It's too bad that you didn't leave a day later. Why? The day you left, Jim Jessup ups and dies. Jim Jessup dead? Why, impossible. He was well on the road to recovery when I left. This here fever takes a queer turn, sir. Nonsense. When a man has passed the crisis, he's just as good as well. Was you with him when he died? No, sir. I was in Belobo. And, and Talbot tells me when he comes back that he was dead. Phil Talbot? Yes, sir. It was like this. He seemed to be nursing him through the bloody fever. Now, put that... I told you to put that... I'll be, be with you again, sir. Uh, Toby says Jim Jessup was... Why, hello, Phil. How do you do, Doctor? Yes, Mr. Talbot was just telling me. Isn't it just too dreadful, dear? And to think if we had only stayed over another day, we might have been able to help. But we thought the crisis was past, didn't we, dear? Of course. Toby was right, I guess. Yes, Jessup was a sicker man than you thought. He'd been through a long siege. His resistance was pretty low. He, well, he went out just like that. Poor chap. If I had only realized. Mr. Jessup was such a splendid man, too. Well, I'll be running along. By the way, Phil, my wife is leaving us for a few days. Oh, not for long, I hope. No, I'm going to Cape Town to visit my sister for a few weeks. I see. This trip has been most too much for her. But no woman could stand this climate for a very long stretch. No, I suppose not. By the way, I wonder if you'd be good enough to mail this letter for me in Cape Town. Why, well, I'd be glad to. Well, thanks a lot. It's to a friend of mine in New York. It's rather important. And I know it'll be safe in your hands. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Talbot. Goodbye. Do you feel rested, dear? What is it, Cuba? A Bonner Smith. Uh, Cuba must send letter. You help, maybe? I certainly. I'll be back in a moment. Right. Come on in, Cuba. Who's the letter to, Cuba? Boss King. Adventures Club. New York City. Wasn't Ross King Jim Jessup's partner? Hey, you are Bonner. Me, uh, Bonner King gun boy. Oh, yes, I remember. Well? Oh, uh, uh, Jim Jessup, uh, him die. Um, uh, man called, uh, Bonner Talbot, uh, Say, plenty of fever. Uh, uh, kill him? Yeah, yeah. Cuba think uh, better come quick. Is that all? Hey, what? Oh, it's tightly. Not a breath of air anywhere. Oh, Mary. Yes? Uh, when you go to Cape Town. Cuba has a letter that he'd like to have you mail. Oh, uh, thank you, Bonner. Thank you. 
Well, well. Lost King. I didn't know you were in town. Hello, Charlie. Yes, I've been in town now for about a week. However, I'm leaving again in a few days. The last time you were here, you signed a contract to deliver 100 tusks of ivory. That's right. What's your deal now? Oh, I... I should say about 300. I just closed with the contract yesterday. That's an awful lot of elephants. When are you going to make the delivery? As soon as I can get back to the Congo. You see, we've already got the ivory. Aren't you afraid somebody will steal it? Oh, no danger of that. Jim Jessup and I are the only two persons in the world who know where the ivory is hidden. There's a letter for you, Mr. King. Thank you, son. You know, I envy you your trip back on the boat. Well, really, Charlie, the most interesting part of the journey is on a little boat called the Queen Victoria that runs up the Congo River for about a thousand miles. You meet every type of person in the world on that boat. What's the matter? Bad news? Yes. Very. Ah, oh, here's something good. Two men died today, and the Chinaman was burned beyond recognition by the... <laughs> well, what's the matter? Oh, I just feel silly. Oh, I don't see anything funny about that. Oh, I wish something exciting would happen for a change. Well, I don't know. What do you want to do? Key at the plaza or something? Oh, we've been there three days this week. Well, I don't know. I'm... Oh, uh, let's go to a movie. Thank you, Hannah. Oh, Dad, at last, a letter uh, from Phil. I know. It's been a long time since you've heard from Phil, hasn't it? Do you know, I wouldn't be surprised if the young rascal hadn't bumped into a diamond mine or something by this time. Oh, Daddy, Phil has run on a fortune in ivory just for the taking. <laughs> what did I tell you? I'm serious. He says an old man dying of fever confided to him his secret of where the ivory is hidden. says he will divide the profits with us if we will finance an expedition into the jungle to get this ivory. Well, how much is it going to cost? Not over $10,000. Not over $10,000? Do you realize, young lady, we saved barely that after the crash? But don't you see? This is our chance to recoup our money. Are you sure you're not more interested in Phil than you are in the ivory? Oh, don't be silly. I haven't seen him for years. And you weren't a bit excited when you saw his handwriting on the envelope? Well, he is more interesting than anyone else I've met. Oh, but Diane, it's ridiculous. Risking your last dollar going to Africa to hunt for ivory. But Phil wouldn't send for us if he weren't positive. Why, he knows just where it is. We can't lose. Well, uh... Come on, Dad. Be a sport. Oh, Mrs. Smith, I think Africa is beautiful. You will see miles and miles of this sort of scenery before you reach your destination. Oh, I'd never grow tired of it. When you've been in Africa as long as my husband and I have, I'm afraid you'll change your mind. By the way, Miss Cameron, is this a vacation trip? Oh, no. You see, Father and I are... I mean, father is an anthropologist. How interesting. We have something in common. I taught anthropology in a school at Cape Town. Oh, did I say anthropologist? How stupid of me. I meant a uh, uh, paleontologist. Do you know anything about paleontology? I'm afraid very little. Oh, what kind of trees are those over there? Why, Ross King, this is a surprise. How do you do, Mrs. Smith? Nice to see you again. Mr. Smith with you? No, the poor dear couldn't come. I, oh, I'm sorry. Miss Cameron, may I present Ross King? How do you do? How do you do, Miss Cameron? Uh, Miss Cameron and her father are getting off at Yumba. They're going up the Congo. Oh, I see. <laughs> Reinforcements to carry on against the heathen idols, I suppose. No, their interests are scientific. Miss Cameron is new to Africa. You might initiate her with some of your hunting adventures. Oh, are you a big game hunter? Well, really, just a combination of uh, an ivory hunter and a trader. Oh, Ross is very modest, my dear. I doubt if there's a more experienced elephant hunter in all of Africa. 
Oh, what time is it? Just about six o'clock. Oh, then I must leave you. I'm dressed for dinner. Good night. Goodbye. 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 Mrs. Smith is a very amusing woman. Quite. How mysterious the jungle looks. I can almost imagine I see an elephant lurking in the shadows. And you really killed elephants? I've gotten my share of ivory. Sounds rather dangerous to me. Well, you see, one either gets the ivory or the elephant gets you. Do tell me about it. Oh, I don't believe it would prove very exciting in the telling. It would be thrilling to a city girl who's never known anything more dangerous than a charging taxi cab. <laughs> My experience has proven that both of them are very, very good chargers. <laughs> well, I must look for Dad. But you'll tell me about Africa after dinner, perhaps? Why, certainly. I should be delighted, Miss Cameron. Goodbye. Goodbye. He's a hunter of elephants. And so interesting. More interesting than Phil? Who? Talbot. Last name is Talbot. You know, the young fellow who sent us on this wild goose chase. Darling, you're an idiot. Oh, and that reminds me. You're also a paleontologist. I'm a what? Remember, Phil stressed the importance of utmost secrecy regarding our business in Africa. Well, I had to give some reason for our being here, so I told Mrs. Smith you were a paleontologist. Well, I do. Rocks or stones or bugs or... Oh. Neither, darling. Fossils. Fossils? I don't know anything about fossils. Neither does Mrs. Smith, so that's all right. Oh, yes, so it is. <laughs> you rascal. <laughs> On that particular safari, I didn't see a white man for about 18 months. Don't you ever get lonesome way back there in the jungle, a thousand miles from civilization? The only time I ever get lonesome is when I return to civilization. I hadn't been back in New York for three days before I was completely bored to death. You must love Africa very much. Africa has been father and mother to me for many years. She's a fascinating mistress. Always new, always alluring. She sounds rather ruthless to me. I hope I haven't destroyed your illusions about Africa. Oh, not at all. You've made me all the more anxious to meet your fascinating mistress. Here, I've been talking about myself all evening. You tell me something about yourself. Oh, I'm not very interesting. Away from home for the first time and bound for the Congo. You know, I can't imagine a girl like you coming out here to the heart of Africa. Oh, Dad and I are on our way to meet a friend of ours, Phil Talbot. Phil Talbot? Yes. Do you know him? No. But I've heard his name. How do I know Phil Talbot? Why, we've known him for years. I'd like you to meet him sometime. I'm afraid I will. It's getting late. I must be going. I'll see you to your cabin. Oh, don't bother. It's been a glorious evening, and I'll never forget it. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Hello, King. How are you, Ben Ackman? How do you do, sir? Gone up the Congo to bury yourself in the jungle again. Hunt down the jolly old elephant, Jay. What? No, I'm through with ivory hunting for a while. I'm after bigger game this time. Bigger than elephant? Well, what could be bigger? I'm just on my way to the card room. Try my luck. Would you gentlemen like to join me? No, I think not. Ben Ackman and I have some things to discuss. I'll see you later. Cheerio. Drop in next time and in Cape Town. Thanks, awfully. Bigger game? Now, what do you suppose? You see, dear, this is where we are now. Yes, but our destination is northeast of here. Oh, I see. It's about three weeks hard travel. Three weeks? Yes. We'll have to fight our way through almost impassable jungles and swamps. And it's in the very heart of the jungle, huh? Yes. The ivory cache is hidden in a deserted trading station. In a part of the country, or known as forbidden territory, it's a hellhole. 
of plague and man-eating lions. How amazing that you should have stumbled on such a place, Phil, huh? Mm. Bolo! More whiskey! And be quick about it! I explained just how it happened in my letter. This man, Jessup, was dying of fever. I was the only white man here. When he realized he was going, he told me about the ivory. Out of gratitude, I suppose. Teach him to be so slow. Give me that. Take your time, will you? Pick that up. That's the way you have to treat them in this country. Yes, I see. Do you realize, Phil, what this expedition is costing me? I can't afford to lose. You can't possibly lose. You'll take out ten to one for your share. I hope so. The Cameron family is about broke. Broke? You see, Phil, I, I lost nearly everything I owned in the stock market crash. Why, I thought that... Yes? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Well, I have everything ready to start at dawn tomorrow. Well, the sooner the better. What do you want? Back is there. Must see you. Oh, tell him to go to the... All right, say I'll come. I have a few important details to attend to. Will you excuse me? For certain. Daddy. I know. I can hardly believe that's the Phil we used to know. We mustn't judge him too harshly. They say this country does strange things to people. I hope that's it. Well, what do you want? Bet you wants money. Why, you slinking half-breed? I gave you all I had yesterday. Maybe your white friends like to know how Jim Jessup died. Shh. Shut up, you fool. I tell you, I'm broke. Cleaned out. But you told Becky you marry a rich white girl. Well, it won't be necessary. I've changed my mind. Back in this morning now. Why, uh, you... Here. Take this. For this, back it tells much. Well? You know Jessup got partner? Partner? Who is he? King. He come on board today. You mean he's here now? Ewa, back it tells more. Cuba, man you hired today. Headman Safari, same time as King's boy. Oh. I see. It's a put up job. But you must take Cuba. He only boy knows this country. When he find ivory, you kill. You watch King and Cuba. As soon as I find Ivory, I give you more. Much more for any other news. Backy watch. Backy listen. Well, Cuba? Did you get the job as Talbot's head man? Yes, Bona. Kuba always do as Inca's king want. Are you sure that he doesn't know that you're my gun bearer? No, Bona. Kuba, him too smart. Did you find out where they're going? Bona Talbot, have plenty big boy. Make big push. 
No say where go. No, of course not. He wouldn't tell you. You know why? Because they're going after my ivory. My ivory. Do you understand? Smith tells me that when he left here, Jessup was well past the crisis. Yet the next day he died. Bill Talbot was the only white man here. You know what it looks like to me, Cooper? It looks like murder. Why you no kill Bonner Talbot? Because murder's a very serious charge. We've got to be sure. That's why I'm sending you along with him. I've got a plan worked out. It's our only chance to get proof. Unless I can work it out of him here, you wait here for me. You don't know how I've missed you, Diane, dear. I've missed you too, Phil. We used to have some good times back home together, didn't we? <laughs> you were always a wonderful sport. A real pal. You know, if it hadn't been for your letters, I don't think I ever could have stood it out here. To me, the jungle is fascinating, mystic, filled with new discoveries. I suppose, like music, Love for this sort of life must be born within you. Hmm. You don't know it like I do, Diane. It's insufferable. Scorching heat. Day in and day out. Nothing but greasy blacks with their silly superstitions and idols. Sleepless nights. Still as death. Oh, it's driving me crazy out here. Perhaps that's why you've changed so much, Phil. Diane, I love you. I can't live without you. Please, I want... Please, Phil! It's getting late. We better be starting back. Yes, I'm here. You know the pretty white woman who was leaving with Talbot in the safari in the morning? Yes, Bonner. I want you to take very good care of her. Do you understand? For me. Very well, Bonner. Well, am I forgiven? Oh, forget it. You're coming over to the house for dinner, aren't you? I'd like to. I have something you like. Oh, you're wonderful. See you later. Bye. King take Cuba. Maybe you kill Jessup. Me watch King's window. Why, he has nothing on me. He can't prove it. Maybe King no way to prove it. What? What do you mean? Becky thinks safer, put King out of the way. You mean murder him? Are you crazy? Maybe you know so particular about Jim Jessup's life. Well, that was different. He was a sick man. He'd have died anyway. Wouldn't he? Hmm. Back you think your life or Rose King's life?
Come in, come in. When you gonna pay back for helping you? I'm leaving in the morning with a safari. I give you plenty of money when I get back. Back in six. No! I can't go through with it. I can't, I tell you! What's the matter? Are you losing your nerve? Hmm. Too late now. What happened, Cuba? Back here, white man come. Try kill you. Try kill me? They come, hit you on the head, take you away from hunger, hyena. You say white man come here? No see face. Back a very good friend, Bonner Talbot. Oh, I see. <sighs> Mr. Talbot, eh? Cuba! Where are you going? Maybe Cuba kill Hyena. Come here. Why do you want to kill the hyena? You my Bonner. Cuba, him your boy. Bonner Talbot try to kill you. No, Cuba. Wanna King pay his own debts. Talbot belongs to me. And you understand? He will. Bonner. You go along with Talbot in the morning just as we planned. 
I'll be close behind you on the big push. Now listen carefully. You keep that safari moving slowly, and I'll catch you this side of the big swamp. Ewa, Bana. This is a cruel country. We've seen this sort of thing every day for the last two weeks. It's the survival of the fittest, my dear. It's slaughter. You eat beef, that has to be killed. At least that's done mercifully. This sort of thing is savage, brutal. It's Africa. And out here, life is cheap. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. country head, Bonner. Boys say no go. Only one Bonner they go with. Now, I suppose you mean Buana King. Well, they won't go away with Buana King again. I'll tell you that. Go on. Take him up. Hammer. Hammer. become so excited. Elephants near. Why, the ignorant scum. I haven't seen an elephant around here. Look, Bonner. I'll fix it. Want me to fix it for you? No, I can fix it. Well, hurry up. Okay. I'm tired. 
So am I. Well, we don't want to get left behind. Well, I'll hurry. That's what you get for getting shoelaces like that. I told you not to get them. I had leather shoelaces, they wouldn't break. Well, I have some more in my trunk. You ready? Yep. We're gonna get left. Bad company, I think we had. All right, let's go. Lingo, Bolo! 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 You sure you're all right? Oh, yes. You want this down? Hammer! There's the load. Lions frightens me. It looks as if they were surrounded. Oh, well, I never heard them as close as this before. My, but I was frightened. Why do you suppose they run through like that? Being driven by the lions, I guess. Look, what was that? Oh, it was awful, hideous. You're just nervous. Oh, my nerves are all unstrung. I hate this place. Wish we could get out of here. See the lever. Up and go. ominous significance in their dance. What does it mean? I don't know. Something's up. Kluber! Yes, brother. What's the matter with them? They pray they're God. No come lame. Why don't they want it to rain, Kuba? Wild animals, afraid of fire. Rain comes, put them out. No so good. Well, it won't be the first time the rain's put out their fire. This very bad country, Bonnet Talbot.
A shot! What happened? Oh, oh, what was it? Oh, my poor child, look here, Phil, look. Give me a bandage. Tell me, dear, tell me oh, what Daddy, it is. Daddy, it was horrible. What? He almost got me. What, dear, tell me about it. It was a leopard. Oh, you poor child. He on me. He'd... Here, here, here. Look at the other arm, Phil. Here, dear. Phil, this is very serious. You'll have to look into this. You can't allow your guard to run off in this way. How's that, dear? All right. Can you stand that? Mm -hmm. There, is that better? Now then, can you stand up? I guess so. How are you now, dear? Oh, I'll be all right, Dad. Oh, poor child. Your shot came just in time. My shot? But I and dear Phil and I were asleep. Who fired that shot? No C, Bonner. Where were your boys? Two bo boys sleep far away. You, uh, Bonner Talbot, was here. Why, you lying black devil. You know more about this than you're telling. Maybe. Why, damn you! Just a moment there. Bonner King! Hey, Cooper. Stop Haller. I do, sir. So you're the boy in the king that Cooper's been talking so much about, huh? Delighted to meet you. Thank you. Yes, I've heard about you. King of the Congo. I believe quite a famous character. He must have been your shot that frightened off the leopard. First time I ever missed at that distance. Rather dark, you know. Well, you saved my daughter's life. We are deeply grateful to you, sir. Uh, Diane, Mr. King. I've already had the pleasure of meeting Miss Cameron. May I ask where you're bound for? Into that country ahead. Do you know anything about it? Yes. Too bad you have a woman with you. Why? What do you mean? Only two white men have ever returned from there alive. I'm one of them. The other one is dead. <laughs> I'm afraid Mr. King exaggerates. Have you ever been there? No. Is it really such a terrible place? It's a hellhole, Miss Cameron. But we have to get there. I've gambled everything on the expedition. May I ask what for? Ivory. Immense supplies of it. How do you know it's there? Colbert here knows all about it. How do you know it's there? Well, I... You're the only man who knows this country. Will you guide us? We'll share what we find. I happen to be going that way myself. I'll see you through on one condition. And what is that? That I have absolute, complete authority over this safari. Well, that's perfectly agreeable to me. Hey, Phil? Why, yes, perfectly. Well, now that that's settled, why... Oh, I think I'll tumble in. Good night, dear. I want you to forget all about this. You need some sleep. Oh, I feel perfectly secure now that Mr. King is here. Good night. Good night. Be careful. Good night, Mr. King. Good night, Mr. Cameron. Take care, Phil. I'm going to see to it myself that Cooper has enough men on guard tonight. Come along. Well? You've got to have some authority over your men. Here, give me the gun. I can't stand away from the run of this thing. That's what Your father tells me 
He has gambled everything upon the success of this expedition. Poor Dad. It would break his heart if we failed. I wish I had known before you started. Oh, I'm not afraid. And I want you to know, King, that I feel much better with you leading us. Thank you. I'll do my best to take care of you. I think you should try and get some sleep now. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. We'll be in the heart of the swamp country. <laughs> well, I'll try. Good night. Good night, Miss Cameron. Good night. Good night. That's all right. Move, move. It won't harm you. Move, move, move. You certainly knew this country when you called it a hell hole. Don't you worry. We'll get through all right. Well, how much further do we have to go? About a mile or so, sir, but it'll take us a whole day to make it. Cooper! You're going to have some more trouble with your boys. What is it? What's the matter? Boys don't go further. All die. What are they afraid of? Zion. Man eater. Worse than that. Oh, tell them I'll pay them double. That isn't necessary. There's only one way to handle these blacks. Pick up that thing. Pick it up. Pick up that thing. You hear me? I am just a minute, Talbot. You can't shambuck these men and expect any loyalty from them. Well, maybe you have a better way. Maybe I have. Hey! I don't know what we'd have done without King. He's a real man. I found that out a long time ago. Womanly intuition, huh? Be it. Come on. Come on. This is the place. Heart of 
hell, Mr. Cameron? Where the jungles have licked both the white man and the black. All right, Talbot. Now, where's your ivory? Why, it's over there. In that big house. It's gone. Someone has stolen it. How did you know the ivory was in there? Well, I... 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 I'll tell you. She doesn't know anything about it. He told us that a man dying of the fever had confided the secret to him. And that man's name was Jim Jessup. It was not. Jessup. That's the name. Talbot, you murdered Jim Jessup. I didn't. It's a lie. I didn't. He died of the fever. You dragged secret of the ivory out of Jim Jessup in his delirium. I did not, I tell you. I, I didn't. You're going to tell the truth or I have to drag it out of you. You better stay where you are, King, if you know what's good for you. Jim Jessup, you rat. You killed Jim Jessup. Yeah. Yes, I... You did kill him, didn't you? I should... I hope you don't think... Not at all, sir. Unfortunately, you were the victim of that man's greed. Talbot, I'm going to take you back to civilization with me. Luba. Yes, sir. Get a couple of these boys and take them out of here. Booyah! Oh, yeah. Put them in that cabin. Tata. I'm very sorry, sir, that Talbot got you into this. You see, I sent some of my runners ahead to hide the ivory. I had to trick Talbot into that confession. However, I'm going to share the ivory with you. Oh, I wouldn't think of it. Pardon me, sir. I said share and share alike. Now, if you'll follow me, I'll show you the ivory. I don't know how to. They were. The ivory, Mr. Cameron, is right in this cave. Now, if you'll follow me and just stoop low.
Yes. And we owe it all to you, sir. Well, thank you. Bonnet King. What is it, Cooper? Bonnet Talbot dead. Bonnet Talbot dead? What happened? Lion. Get him in the jungle. Tell him pieces. What? All right, Cooper, go. I always maintained it's a very grave mistake to bring a savage into civilization. Of course, we've had slaves in our country, but then they became acclimatized, and we recognized them as regular citizens of the country. But to deliberately bring a savage into a civilized country, no. No, I can't agree. I think it's all wrong. Father King? Bonnet Cameron. Yes, I've always maintained that it's a very excellent thing to make a deliberate...